The sucker on your fin is healing nicely, Nora. Now let's see if you can use it to stick to something. I hope it's working. I have to be able to stick to bigger fish. That's how I hitch rides all over the ocean. Hmm. Now what can we practice on? Oh, I know. Oh, <laughs> you've definitely got the sticking part sorted. Now let's practice the unsticking part. I, I'm trying, but oh, I can't. Don't worry, I'll help. <laughs> Nora has vanished. And I'm afraid there's no sign of her on the fish tracker. We need to find her, Captain. She could be stuck to something dangerous and not be able to get unstuck. Don't worry, Pacer. We'll find her. Dashy, sound the Octo Alert. Octonauts, to the launch bay. <laughs> this missing fish. She's a remora who goes by the name of Nora. Nora the remora, eh? She was last seen by Peso near this trench. And then she disappeared without a trace. So, we've got a little fish who's disappeared in a big ocean. What other clues do we have, matey? No other clues, but the sucker on her fin is hurt. The longer she's out there, the more danger she's in. Cap, what about? Agreed. I've never seen that before. We've never had to use it before. You think he'll get the signal, Cap? He'll get the signal. Who'll get what signal? I don't hear anything. Hold on, Quasi. I expect he'll be here in five, four, three, two, one. Harry the Harbour Seal, at your service. Oh, oh. Octonauts, meet my old friend and ace detective, Harry. Thanks for coming, Harry. After all the times you've saved my sealskin barnacles, I owe you one, <laughs> or two. Peso, why don't you tell Harry about our case? Oh, right. Well, let's see. Wait, let me guess. What we've got here is a case of a missing fish. A patient of yours, perhaps. How? Did I know that? <laughs> Swimming towards the octopod, I found this thread. Special type only used to make bandages. So I figure you must be a medic. I am. Yes, I can tell your heart's beating fast, so I guess you're worried, which means this patient of yours is in trouble. What kind of trouble? Well, you contacted me. So obviously, they're lost or missing. <laughs> well, you're good. I always find my fish. The fish we're looking for is a remora. Named Nora. But I'm afraid we don't have any good clues for you. Oh, Harry can find clues that the rest of us can't. It's all in our whiskers. That's because harbour seals' whiskers are so sensitive, they can detect the slightest ripple in the water made by any fish. And track it for a hundred miles. Wow. Now then, how about you take me to the last place you saw Nora the remora? <laughs> This is the spot. My whiskers are picking up a uh, big fish, fast moving, passed right by here. And now I detect a little ripple from a little fish. That's probably Nora. The big fish and the little fish moved on together from here. Can you tell which way they went, Harry? According to my whiskers, they went this way. Follow me, chaps. Yes, there's definitely a big fish and a little fish in there. Let's take a look. It's a big fish and little fish, all right. But it's not Nora. It's a cleaning wrasse and a shark. Hey, big guy, you want cleaning? You must wait until I'm finished with shark. Yeah, take a swim, Harbour Seal. <gasps> Come on, Harry. Oh, this won't take long. Uh, yes, excuse me, we're looking for a missing fish and we'd like to ask you a couple of questions. I don't like questions. Hey, please, the shark, he needs to relax. Yes, yes, but I'm just wondering if you've seen... Oh! Hey, 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 hey! Come back, shark, I need to clean your teeth. We'd better...
better stop that shark before he takes a bite out of Harry. Easy now. Don't chomp my friend. I'll take it from here. Now, don't move till I'm finished cleaning your teeth. You must relax. <laughs> Everyone all right? Ha! <laughs> Thanks for saving my seal skin barnacles. But it's a good thing that shark chase is over here, or I might have missed this. My whiskers are detecting more ripples. I'd say these ripples were made by a big fish and a little fish. Excellent, my dear Peso. And the trail leads us to... A little hole in the sand. Exactly. This little hole was made by a big fish with a pointy nose. Now I'm starting to get that picture. The big fish with a pointy nose takes a dive down towards the sea floor, but he's not alone. Somewhere along the way, he picks up a little fish. Now we've got a little fish stuck to a big fish with his nose stuck in the sand. The big fish breaks free, but the little fish is still stuck to him. And they both went that away. Better follow them before the trail goes cold. Hey, so go with Harry. We'll catch up in the guppe. Remember, we're on the lookout for a big, pointy-nosed fish. With Nora attached. Yeah, they definitely came this way. We're close, Peso. Very close. Oh. Oh. Are you all right? Fine. Just running out of air. Harbour seals have to go up to breathe every 30 minutes. Hold on. I'll just grab a quick breath. Oh! oh. Oh no, snapping shrimp! <laughs> yeah. What was that? Let's make sure Peso and Harry are all right. Snapping shrimp. They make those loud snaps to defend themselves. Shiver me whiskers! They've knocked out Harry and Peso! Attention, snapping shrimp! We are the Octonauts, and we're not out to harm you. Would you please stop snapping so we can help our friends? Oh, sorry. We always snip first, ask questions later, you know. All right, everybody, stop snipping. Are you all right, Peso? Oh, I'm fine, but where's Harry? He was knocked out by those snapping shrimp, just like you. Oh, no. <laughs> He's OK, but he needs air right away. Captain, we need to get him up to the surface to breathe. Understood. Peso, you pull. Quasi, we'll push. <laughs> How do you feel? I feel ready to solve this case. <laughs> Come on, chaps. <laughs> OK, Peso, we've got to follow these ripples. Ah. There's our big fish with a pointy nose. That's a sailfish, but where's... Nora! Hey, so! Let's go! It's fast, but we're catching up, mateys. Oh, I can't get unstuck! Don't worry, we're coming for you. Catch me if you can. Whoa! He's making a getaway! Flappity flippers, he can leap into the air. He's not the only one who can leap into the air. Peso, on my back. I'll leap, you grab. <laughs> Ready? Ready. There they are. <laughs> Can't get unstuck. Oh. We're coming, Nora. We're gaining on them. Oh. Can't reach. Have to do this on the fly. Yeah. Ah. Gotcha! We've got our fish. Wow. And our penguin, too. <laughs> Just a few more days in the sick bay, and you'll be good as new, Nora. But we do need to bandage that hurt sucker. <laughs> Well, it looks like this case is all wrapped up. See you later. See you later. <laughs> Bye. 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 
Octonauts, tonight we have a very special dinner guest. Dashi? Everyone, I'd like you to meet my little sister, Kashi. Uh, <laughs> Kashi? Oh, sorry. I'm on the very last page of a Donna Doxy mystery, the case of the curious cuckoo clock. Once you start a Donna Doxy book, it's really hard to stop. Who's Donna Doxy? The detective undaunted by danger. <laughs> She's the main character in a series of mystery books. They were my favourite growing up. Dashi gave her whole collection to me. All 100 books. I've read 54 of them. 55 when I finish this one. I love a good mystery too, me hearty. Donna Doxy's taught me all kinds of tricks for solving mysteries. Oh, like what, matey? Well, I can tell a lot about a person by looking closely. Take you, for instance. We've only just met, but your eye patch and the tiny piece of your ear that's missing... Tell me you've been in some dangerous situations. I'd say you're reckless but brave. Mm. And from the way your tail keeps twitching, I'd also say you're not very patient. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing! You've described Quasi perfectly. And one more thing. There's a trace of pudding on your paw. You must have snuck in a little dessert before your dinner. <laughs> wow. Good job, Kashi. That was incredible. She's good. Possibly too good. It's pretty hard to get anything past my little sister. <laughs> right, Kashi? Uh, <laughs> except when she's reading. <laughs> Right, you ready for the best sister sleepover readathon ever? I'm ready. Which one do you want to read first, Dashi? Oh, um, oh, the case of the disappearing camera. It's one of my favourites. Are missing. It was horrible. Something monstrous taught her our lovely kelp forest home, and now my babies are gone. <laughs> we need to find those baby sea snails and fast. Octonauts to the kelp forest. Captain Barnacles, can I help too? Um. Kashi is very good at working out clues. I notice you're always wearing that uniform, which means you're always ready for the next mission. Me too, sir. All right then, Kashi. Everyone, let's do this! Dashi, what is that? Just orcas. We see them around a lot here this time of year. Uh, come on now, we have to keep up. There! That's right where my babies were. Peso, see if you can find any creatures who saw what happened. Shellington, Dashi and Kashi, you look for clues right here. Quasi, we'll search the nearby kelp for baby snails. This kelp is torn and crushed. The whole area almost looks like a giant footprint. Let's measure it. It's as big as a bus. Somebody must have seen what caused this mess. It's too huge to miss. So, you say you saw a strange creature in the kelp? Sure as my shell I did. Big fella, bumpy all over. No way. That thing was smooth, not bumpy. Um, thank you, I think. I didn't see the thing, but I heard it make a creaky noise. No, it was a bellowing sound. Creaky. Bellowing. I heard it going snort, snort, snort. Flappity flippers. Everyone describes the creature differently. This is going to be a hard mystery to solve. Captain, did you find my babies? Not yet, but don't worry, we'll find them. Did anyone see who took the baby sea snails? We're looking for a creature who's bumpy but also smooth and it makes a creaking, bellowing or snorting sound. Those are all different things. That doesn't help much, matey. Well, we know for sure that the creature is big. It left a huge print in the kelp. Much of the forest nearby was crushed down or torn away. The baby snails could have been carried away on a piece of torn kelp. <gasps> My babies! But where did the creature take them? Creature? I'd say we're looking for a monster. A kelp monster. Whoa. Whatever it is, we've got to find it. 
but be careful, everyone. There's something big and possibly dangerous out there. No sign of any creature or snails. Sure is quiet and shadowy, with lots of places to hide. <gasps> the kelp monster! He's just a ray. They normally live here, and he's not big enough to be the creature. Right, I knew that. Look! Torn kelp! And there's more over here! And here! Hmm. Now this could lead us to... Ah! Ah! Whoa! Ah! Why are you sneaking up on me? Why are you hiding in the kelp? I'm not hiding, I'm floating. And it was very relaxing until you swam right into me. How big is he? Not as big as a bus. What do you mean, bus? I'm a harbour seal. Sorry to have bothered you, Mr. Harbour Seal. Ah, it's all right. You two are strange, but you're not the strangest thing I've bumped into tonight. What else have you bumped into? Well, uh, like I said, it was strange. It was big. It nearly knocked me over when it scraped itself along the sea floor, left behind a big hole. A hole? Yeah, you can see it for yourself on the other side of this kelp. Thanks. Let's go. Now that is unusual, and it might be a clue. Deshi, look! Shells! But not snail shells, barnacle shells. These shells belong to little creatures called barnacles that are usually attached to rocks or even other creatures. And look! They lead in there! It's definitely a clue. As Donna Doxy says, we're hot on the trail! The trail just ends. Oh, I was so sure we were onto something. <laughs> Snort! <laughs> Bella! <laughs> Creak! <laughs> huh? Nothing to see here. Just a big clump of kelp. Is that a whale? Yes, a grey whale. You can tell because he has bumps on his back instead of a dorsal fin. So he's bumpy, but also smooth. Just like the crab and urchin said. And he's making all the noises they mentioned too. <laughs> Mystery solved. The kelp monster that took the baby snails was you, a grey whale. Uh, oh, I uh, don't know what you're talking about. I'm just kelp. Kelp doesn't talk. Oh, OK, maybe not. But please don't give away my disguise. I'm hiding from a pod of orca whales. They want to eat me. Where'd that great whale go? Let's look over here. Oh. We won't give you away. Promise. But we'd like to check you for baby snails. They may have gotten caught up in your kelp disguise. Oh, uh, go ahead then. There they are! Oh, sorry about that. I didn't know I had any creatures on my head. Oh, let's get you back to your mum. Oh, my precious little babies. I was so worried. How did you find them? By following the clues. First we discovered a spiked up part of the seafloor. Then we tracked a trail of barnacle shells to the end, where we heard a spooky noise. That's when we found the grey whale accidentally carrying the snails. Now it all makes sense. Grey whale snouts are covered with barnacles. He must have left the trail of shells by scraping his mouth along the seafloor to eat. But where is the whale? Hiding. Really? Grey whales usually travel to warmer water this time of year. There's a pod of orcas after him, and they'd like to eat him. Oh. Only me! This kelp forest is a safe place for me to hide. I think we can help you. Our whale tracker shows that the orcas are gone. Oh, what a relief. Um, before I go, can I ask one last favour? There's a piece of kelp stuck in my blowhole. Would you mind? This will make the perfect souvenir for our case. <sighs> Thank you for all your help. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Now, how about finishing up our Donna Doxy readathon? I've got a better idea. Instead of reading a mystery, let's write one. It's about two sisters who team up to solve cases. The little sister is the brains of the team. <laughs> <laughs> Ch 
Just look at these anemones, Peso. They're so colorful. Each one looks like a flower or a, a monster. Ah! <laughs> oh, it's not a monster. That's an elephant seal. A very large seal with a great big nose. Like an elephant. Is he snoring? Hmm. Elephant seals sometimes do sleep in the water. I think something's wrong with his skin. He's molting, losing his old skin so a new layer can grow in. See? Does that hurt him? <laughs> Not at all. Molting is perfectly normal for an elephant seal. It's the same as when you grow too big for your clothes and need new ones that fit better. But elephant seals are supposed to molt on the beach where it's warm. Molting in the cold water will make him ill. Oh no, he's nowhere near a beach. Shellington, we have to help him. Captain, we have an elephant seal emergency. We need to bring him to the octopod. And he's really huge. And loud. We have to move him, but he'll never fit into the guppy. Hold tight, we're on our way. Sound the octo alert. Octonaut to the launch bay. Tweak, we need to tow an elephant seal to the octopod right away. The Gupsy's ready to go, Cap, and I've added an extra strong tow line. Good thinking. Quasi, you're with me. Yow! <laughs> Tweak, open the octo hatch. Right away, Cap. Shiver me whiskers. He is huge. Let's get him to safety. We've got him, Peso. Let's go. Through this door. Hey, gosh! He does it. There you go. Phew, he's okay. But boy, does he snore. <gasps> Peso, how's your patient? His temperature is perfect. As soon as he regrows his skin and hair, he'll be as good as new, Captain. He's awake. Where am I? You were molting in the water. We didn't want you to get poorly, so we brought you back to our ship, the Octopod. Ooh, thanks for helping me. The name's Leon. Can't wait to get to the beach and see my friends and family and... Uh, oh. <coughs> I don't think you're ready to move yet, Leon. Where is your beach? We'd be happy to take you there. Well, it's a beach, uh, uh, with lots of molting elephant seals like me on it, and... Uh, oh boy, molting makes me really, really, really tired. He needs to rest while he finishes growing his new skin, Captain. In the meantime, we'll look for a beach with elephant seals on it. Activating Octoscope. No elephant seals on this beach. Searching for Leon's beach for days. 
We'll just have to try again tomorrow. Now, let's get some sleep. Leon? I feel great, and I'm looking good. Check out my nice new skin and fur. You've finished all your molting. Congratulations. Chest bump! <laughs> Whoa, sorry. Uh, didn't mean to knock you over with that. Oh, not to worry. I'm fine. I'm just excited to get to the beach and play with all the other elephant seals. Well, I'm afraid we haven't found your beach quite yet. You haven't? But this is a special time when all of us wake up and play games. And I'm missing out on all the fun. Don't worry, we'll find your beach. And while we're looking, we can have fun here on the Octopod too. We can? Can we play some elephant seal games? You know, like we do on the beach? I'd love to. I'll show you the games room in the morning. Okay, let's start with one of my favorite games, wrestling. Wrestling? Yeah, elephant seals love to wrestle. Flipper to flipper? Okay, flipper to flipper. Whoa. Okay, uh, we'll make it two flippers against one. On the count of three. One, two, three. <laughs> Whoa. 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 Phew. Sorry about that. Uh, sometimes I forget how strong I am. Oh, not to worry. I'm fine. But maybe we should try a different game. Hmm. How about a race? You're on. To the hallway. Okay, I'll, I'll give you a head start. Thanks. Ready, steady, go! <laughs> Not to worry, I'm fine. Leon! Oh, Quasi, on the beach, elephant seals. And not a moment too soon, eh, Captain? <laughs> Are you okay? I'm great. This is even more fun than the beach. Let's do it again. Attention, <laughs> Octonauts. We have found a beach full of elephant seals. To the launch bay. Just <laughs> pull. To the launch bay. Leon, aren't you coming? Um. Uh... Sure, I suppose. Peso, into the gut. Open the octo hatch, Tweak. You got it, Cap. Wait a second. I'm having so much fun here with you. I don't want to leave now. Sorry, Leon. The octopod's just not big enough for an elephant seal. And the other elephant seals must miss you. But I'll miss you guys. How about if we race you to the beach? A race? You're on! He's fast! Elephant seals are strong swimmers. I win the race! Yeah! Hey, Leon! You found us! <laughs> We were so worried about you. Come on, let's play! <laughs> See, they really missed you. Oh, I never would have made it here if you hadn't rescued me. Chest bump? Uh, how about a hug this time? Oh, shucks. <laughs> <laughs> Say, ah. Uh... 
looks good. Great. Now, can you tell me how many flippers I'm holding up? <coughs> Two. That's right. You're a completely healthy fish. Next. Oh, no. Let me take a look at that. Don't worry. My name's Peso. I'm an octonaut and a medic. I help creatures who are hurt or sick. If you let me bandage that claw, it will feel better. Ah, good as new. These arctic waters are cold. I'd better head back to the octopod and warm up. Whoops! My medical bag. Oh no, I've got to find it. Aha! Just a clam. I know it's down here somewhere. <gasps> a walrus. He's using his whiskers to find clams. <laughs> Maybe he can help me find my medical bag. Oh, thank you. I've been... Oh, hey. Uh-huh. <laughs> what a weird clam. Hey, the chief might like that. Wait, come back. That's not a clam. It's my medical bag. Captain. Go ahead, Peso. Captain, my medical bag has been taken <gasps> by a walrus. Wazi, sound the octo alert. Octonauts, to the launch bay. Octonauts, can anyone think of why a walrus would take Peso's medical bag? He must have thought it was a clam. Yes, they do love to eat clams, Captain. It had all my bandages and medicine. Without my medical bag, I can't help creatures feel better. Don't worry, Peso. We're going to find that walrus. We'll march right up to that whiskery lump and make him give back your medical bag. Yow! Peso, quasi, to the gup A. Open the octa hatch, Tweak. Right away, Cap. Ahoy! One whiskery walrus right ahead. We must be getting close to a walrus colony where they live. Whoa! That's a lot of walruses. If your bag's in there, we'll find it. <clears throat> um, hello there. I believe there's been a misunderstanding. You see... Hey, you guys aren't walruses. You got that right. We're octonauts. This is our colony. Walruses only. Uh, easy now. We just want to... All right, back off. Move on. Oh, Move well, on. Well, well, uh, uh, well, 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 well. Enjoy the dip. So much for marching right up to them. <laughs> got me when I wasn't ready. Avast, you scurvy walruses. Hmm. There's got to be another way for us to get into the walrus colony. And then, splash, we all fell into the water. Hmm. Walruses don't like to share their home with other creatures. Sounds like if you're not a walrus, you're not getting in. But if we looked like a walrus and acted like a walrus... Maybe we could sneak in. And find my medical bag. Tweak, we're going to need your help. Sure thing, Cap. Octonauts, Operation Octo Walrus begins now. Let's go. Tweak's costume will fool them. If it'll get my medical bag back, it's worth a try. Fair enough. Come in, Shellington. This is Barnacles. We're sneaking into the walrus colony now. Excellent. Now it's very important that you act like a walrus. Don't let them push you around. Huh. Must be a new guy. Walruses say hello by blowing in each other's faces. Blow back or they'll think you're being rude. Oh, um... 
That's all you've got. <laughs> um, we need to blow harder. Everybody. One, two, three. <gasps> Now that's more like it. Nice to meet you. If you've got any extra clams, give them to the chief. He's hungry. We've all got to share our food until he feels better and can find his own. Right. Thanks for the tip. It's working. We've made it inside the colony. One of Peso's stickers. We must be getting close. Keep your eyes peeled. You! You're stepping on me tail. Sorry. But it's hard when they keep smooshing up against us. Ah, typical walrus behaviour. They love to get cosy and cuddle with one another. Cosy isn't quite the word for it. Phew, that's better. You don't get too relaxed. Aye, what's this? A new guy? That's the one who took my medical bag. <sighs> Come in, Shellington. We've got an angry walrus heading right for us. Jumping jellyfish. It's a walrus challenge. Ugh. He wants to see who's bigger and tougher. If we want him to tell us where the bag is, we'll have to challenge him back. We could be bigger and tougher than he is. Hop on me shoulders, Captain. Uh, uh, uh. Oh. <laughs> bigger. <laughs> Are you okay, Peso? Um, I'm okay. Okay, okay. You're bigger than I thought. Where is the medical bag? M medical bag? It's white and uh, it opens up and inside... Oh, you mean uh, the funny white clam that I found? I gave it to the chief to try and cheer him up. Which one is the chief? The chief is probably the biggest walrus with the biggest tusks. Aha! Bring him on! Careful. Quasi, try to get back into position. Huh? I can't get back in position while you're sitting Ooh. on my... Intruders! Whoa! Run! Captain, come in. What's going on? Have you located the chief yet? Shellington, this really isn't a good time. <laughs> Take them to the chief. At least we get to meet the chief. What are you doing in our colony? Speak. Uh, please, we didn't mean to bother you. We're just looking for Peso's bag. You mean that strange white clam? That's it. My medical bag. Your medical bag? I'm the Chief Walrus. It's mine. We don't want any trouble, Chief. But that bag belongs to my friend Peso. You think you can just waddle into my colony and tell me what to do? Oh no. His flipper. Stop! You shouldn't be walking around on a hurt flipper. <laughs> if it's not bandaged right now, it will only get worse and worse until... <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> oh, my flipper really does hurt. Can you tell me what happened? Well, I twisted it the other day, and now I can't even swim. That's why everybody's been bringing you clams to eat. Do you think you can do anything for me? Hmm. One twisted flipper. I'll need my medical bag. Uh, all right. Here. Oh. There. Good as new. Hey. Thank you. It feels better already. I don't know what I would have done without you. And I don't know what I would have done without my medical bag. Now remember, you take it easy on that flipper. I will, and you come back to visit whenever you like. I hereby declare you all honorary walruses. Will you join us in the official walrus cheer? I'm Captain Barnacles. I, matey. Come on, everyone join in. 
Let's go!